Guys, it's Zach Dixon here. What I want to go over today is how to stop caring about what people think of you. So many people out there are really, really in this place of, you know, they need love from everyone else. They need validation. They need people to approve them because if they don't, you know, I'm unworthy. That's the place of your weakness. That's the place of your wounded self. That's the place and the part of you that wants more love because you're not giving it to yourself. What I'm going to teach you on this video is how you can start loving yourself more and how you can stop detaching yourself and fully detach yourself from worrying about what people think of you. So many people come to me on a daily basis and they talk to me about, Zach, like, I'm putting content out and stuff like that. Like, they might be a coach and they're putting content out. And they're not getting likes on their videos. They're not getting comments on their videos. Or someone might say something say, that was a really bad video or whatever it is. And they get really hurt about it. And then they say to themselves, I'm never doing that again. I'm never putting out videos again because people are laughing at my videos. And what I say to them is, get over it. The more hate that you have, the more successful that you're going to be. The more hate that you have on your videos, the more it's going to challenge you to race to the top of the game. Not going backwards. So many people are taking steps forward, but then they take two steps back because some idiot writes on it, says, this is what I believe. And then they say, oh, this is what this person believes, so I better lower myself for that person. I say, raise yourself for that person. Excite yourself for that person. Imagine me as a coach. I'm a true believer, a true believer that anyone can heal anything. That's what I truly believe. That's what I truly believe. No one can just get into my head and say, no, that's not true. I truly believe that. So if someone's depressed, I have a belief in my head that says they can get over it because there's a reason they're depressed. There's a root cause of the problem. It might have been zero to seven years. It might have been zero to 14 years. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out when they were first feeling this way because there's a root cause to every problem. People aren't just born that way. That's what I truly believe. But what if someone that was depressed said to me, no, that's not wrong, I'm depressed and I've tried everything and you can't say that. I respect that person for buying into that because that's what they believe, but I don't believe it. And if I was hurt by that effect and I say, I better change my belief to say because there's this person, I'm not going to change my belief that way. Because I'm bought into my own beliefs. I want to be bulletproof within myself. Because if I can be bulletproof within myself, I can help someone else become bulletproof within themselves. I believe we all are confident in our own unique way. But everyone has two parts to everything. You know, some people believe they're not good enough. But I know there's a part of them that knows they're good enough. I know there's a part of them that's confident. I know there's a part of them that's unconfident. Same with me. Same with everyone. We have two parts to everything. We have a left hand and we have a right hand. We can jump up and we can jump down. Opposites to everything. So what I'm trying to do as a coach is I'm trying to help them find the stronger part. Their higher self instead of their wounded self. Because if I can make them live through their higher self, they're going to make more, they're going to create more, they're going to be happier within themselves, they're going to treat people differently, and they're going to be more fulfilled in their life. But my message to you is, why are you getting so hurt? about what other people think. I always talk to people and they're always worried about, well, this person's judging me, this person's saying this. I was on a client call this morning and she was saying, it's, it's, I'm really hurt from what they said. I'm like, what did they say? And they're like, oh, well, it's not what they said. It's what they didn't say. I'm like, what didn't they say? I'm like, oh, it's, you know, when you're like talking to someone and they don't say, you know, they probably think you're an idiot and stuff like that. I'm like, no, that's you thinking yourself's an idiot. Not them thinking you're an idiot. What if they're thinking inside, you're freaking amazing. But the story you tell yourself is either going to put you in a slave state or a freedom state. It's crazy, isn't it? We've got slave state or freedom state. Which state do you want to be in? Because things happen to everyone every single day. And my belief and true belief is it's coming from the frame of choosing a story that makes you feel good, not shit. If something happens to you, you have two choices. I didn't get the sale this time. It means I'm not good enough. That's the story most people tell. It has nothing to do with you not being good enough. But then the opposite story is I didn't get the sale. That means I'm going to work harder. They're not ready for me yet. That's a different story. Freedom. Slave. Which one do you always choose to do? And it's really fascinating to me that we always choose to feel the painful story instead of the pleasurable story. Always make the story make you feel good, make you feel great, make you feel amazing. Because if you do that on a consistent basis, you'll grow, you'll expand, and you'll become the person you've always wanted to be. That's the secret to this. 
It's about realizing that even if someone criticizes you, it's a reflection of oneself. What do I mean? If I say to you right now, you're an idiot, like, you, you need to start changing your videos. That's me saying internally and criticizing myself. So if someone criticizes you, you know they do it to themselves. If someone gives you love, you know they give love to themselves. So why don't you go out there and give love to the world? Even if someone hates on you, you still give them love. So many people react. It's like, oh, are you, oh I'm trying so hard. They try to validate it. I just say, do you know what? I know you don't like it, but I love you still. Give them love. When you give love to hate, love conquers. Every single time. Every single time, love conquers. It's freaking amazing. And you've got to realize inside that you already are amazing. What am I saying to myself? I'm amazing because I'm saying you're amazing. Because I'm giving love, I'm giving it to myself. What's the fastest way to get love and feel love? It's to give love. If I give love, I feel love. What would start happening? If you started becoming bulletproof, and started breathing, and started realizing, I know who I am, I know what I want, am I going to get hate along the way? How in the air I am, and I'm going to smile about it. I'm going to enjoy getting taken down, because they bring me back to center. If everyone validated everything that I ever did, my ego would be so stroked. It's sometimes good to get shaken down to a normal level again. It makes you hungry again, it makes you motivated, it makes you excited again. So realize throughout this video, you're already enough inside. 400 million to one and you show up. You're already enough. All you've got to do is enjoy your life. You've got one shot at this life. Go out there, feel. You know, feel the pain, feel the pleasure. Enjoy it all and realize everything's a gift. If something doesn't go your way, it's a gift. If something does go your way, it's a gift. Everything's a gift in your life if you start focusing on the good. Change the meaning in the story and your life will completely transform. Have a phenomenal day and I'll see you in the next video. Boom!